72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling me. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. That's little man cloud nine, and this nine is never on vacation. Start up that mind, I'm riding in. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Horcrux here. We'll be going over uh, the uh, patch notes that ESO left us. I'm going to do this in two separate videos. The first one's going to be uh, uh, general changes, trades, uh, some basic class changes, so class balancing. And then the second video is going to be going over all the set adjustments. So let's go and hop right into it. Uh, this is 6.1.0. Uh, base game, housing features, character pathing. Try to keep this as sweet as possible. Uh, if you guys are on my channel, you're probably here with the PvP content. So we'll briefly go over everything else, and then PvP will focus on. DLC, base game, uh, no information issues, cool. Going over combat stuff, great. Base game, very nice. Uh, new dungeons, we'll just have to play them to see how they are. It's pretty cool. Uh, normal version, challenging. Yeah, pretty much typical stuff. We'll just have to see when the dungeons drop. See if it's pretty nice. New item set. So we got Castle Thorn. Uh, we got Tafji's Treachery. Spell crit, max match, spell damage. Increased spell damage with 372. Increased damage taken from Flame. And fire skill abilities by 10%. Okay, so this is like anti-vampire set pretty much right so wait a minute increase spell damage by 372 increase damage taken from does this apply to you or the person because if this is to the person you are attacking could you imagine this on a DK? That would be very, very broken in my opinion. Wow, first set. Uh, it just really depends how this five set. I'm not sure if we take more damage. That wouldn't make sense because you only get a 372 buff for a five piece. That'd be dumb. But wow, and then I don't know. We'll have to see about this one on PTS. I'll, I'll test that one as soon as possible for sure. Uh, medium armor set. We got uh, weapon damage, stam stam. We deal direct damage with a charge, leap, teleport, or pull ability. You cut through your enemies, causing. Yo, you. This is a good set. Mag DK benefits from this, sorcerer benefits from this. There's sets that pull. There's gap closers. Pretty much every class benefits from this. Dealing a shit ton of physical damage. Per target. Once every 10 seconds per target. So you can just, what? Let's say for example if I leap. And hit like 4 or 5 people. Does that apply to everyone? Oh my god. Okay. Seems like a very busted set to me, but we'll we'll go on. Uh, heavy Crimson Twilight. Uh, health, healing, health. After taking damage, you surround yourself in a mist of blood. After two seconds of mist, siphon your body, dealing bleed damage to everyone, healing you for every eight seconds. Uh, I don't know. It depends how the mist works, I guess. Whether it's said it'd be good PvP or not. PvE, yeah, it's really good, but PvP, we just gotta see how this sets function. It's kind of vague, to be honest. Uh, monster set, we get max health. Casting ability really costs health, uh, spawns a ball. This effect can occur, so it's 100% of time. You or an alley can activate the synergy. Disease damage, major maim. Decreasing, yeah, enemies. Oh, 30 seconds, okay, that's how they balance it, okay. Uh, PvP, that seems really hard to do. PvE, ah, whatever. Got a lackluster set, in my opinion. Who knows, it might be good, I don't know. Stone Garden, so we got some sets here. The Light Armor, uh, Max Match, Crit Max Match. Whenever you deal Flame, Shock, or Frost, you apply a stack of Flame, Shock, or Frost weakness to the enemy in 5 seconds. Each stack of the elemental weakness increases their critical damage taken by 6%. 
Anyone can only have one stack of each element. Okay, so if you use Force Pulse, you immediately make them take 18% more damage. Crit damage. That's really strong. And then if you pair that with the Shadow Mundus. That's really strong for Sorks. Who else uses Force Pulse? Maybe Wardens? Wardens might use that. Shit, I might run this on my DK, to be honest. Use Force Pulse instead of Flame Flame Lash. <laughs> oh no. So we got uh, Cracklin's Howl, Medium, uh, Crit Recovery, Weapon Damage. After you recently uh, damage dies, you Howl, uh, Meteors, Call Synergy. I, I just don't like synergy stuff. You know, it's I guess it could be a PvE thing. Yeah, I guess this is kind of meant for PvE, but this has a very strong PvP aspect to it. Uh, Arcasis Genius. Health, Armor, Health. Whenever you drink a potion. 44 Ultimate. Forty four ultimate. That's gotta be tuned down. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, dude. So just imagine you run this with like clever alchemist. I mean you you'd have to front you'd have to like front and back bar one one of these sets, but you drink a potion again, ultimate, and then clever alchemist. You guys know how that works. It reduces the wow. And could you imagine on a DK you get 44 ultimate just from drinking a potion on your back bar or whatever? And then on top of that, you're using minor heroism pots. You have a leap like every 10 seconds. Good God! I'll definitely be farming this. That's incredible. It's just three group members. Could you imagine if you're... I mean, I don't run in groups at all. But could you imagine everyone chugging these in a small man group in PvP? That's, that's crazy. We'll move on. Let's see how this works. But I'm definitely going to test this out. Stone Husk. Uh, weapon critical. Your heavy attacks tether your enemies. Touching the tether does damage or second. Okay, it's a lot up to 15 seconds. The tether's broken. Moves away, which is probably going to happen. Carry every 10 seconds. Tether ends. When you consume the stacks, you gain 30 weapon damage per stack. So that's 750 weapon damage for 5 seconds. And you don't have to fully charge your heavy attack. You just medium attack weave. That's pretty good enough. I don't play uh, stamina classes, but I can see that being really good. Achievements, really don't care, guys. New dies and collectibles, sorry. Performance and improvements, here we go. More of this. We'll see. Through optimization database workers, the game's access database has been refined to ensure the system does not become overloaded. When part of it generates a large amount of traffic or message to particular tasks, the optimizations ensure that enough database workers focus on the highest priority critical game functions. Okay. Player, oh, fucking phone. Player, the multi threats are improving. Okay, just handled a synchronon. Just as long as it works better, who cares? Don't tell us. Sort of performance been improved in at least distribution trial. Okay, just just make sure it works, please. When you're using me in different game assets, memory. Don't. Like I'm an engineer. Like I, I've taken computer science. I don't, I don't give a shit. Just. Just, just give me over here. Here's what it was before. His, his little, little graph. Okay, and then here's what it is now. When it comes to latency, that's all I care about. Show me, show me pictures. I like pictures. Uh, character pathing and housing. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to read through that, you can. I don't know why they. Ping pong. I don't know. House guests. New homes. There's some new homes. That'd be kind of cool to look at. New furnishings. Yeah, those are okay. Master crafter shit. Here you guys go. Make some monies off this. Achievements. Uh, Battleground outfit styles rework. Okay, I'm not worried about that. I want to queue up my fucking friends in Battlegrounds. I don't care about the solo shit. It's not fun anymore. Outfit style costs. Reductions. Thank you. 
mean, for real, like, some of these cost a lot, like 7k each. Uh, motifs, cool. Prolonged quests, I right, quests. Just, uh, bug fixes, trial stuff. Sorry, guys, if I'm just blaring through this, I don't care too much about the uh, the PV aspect. If you guys do, really sorry. You can watch Outcast or Nest XQ or whoever. I'm sure they'll go in depth over it. Uh, not here though. Try to get to the good stuff. Quest, quest, quest. Dungeons and Hellgrave. Dungeons, blah, blah, blah. Deck memory. Frostfall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Better logic is good. In addition to item sets, many abilities have. Receive back end improvements through scripting to help reduce unnecessary effects, checks, and parsing is cool. Uh, we've also introduced some new area of effect adjustments in the back end. Okay, just just tell me how this is going to help. Just be, hey, we changed some shit. It should help uh, reduce shit by 2%, 3%. That's all, that's all we care about. Uh, buffs, debuffs. Fixed newer instances where a minor vulnerability from certain sources such as teleport strike were not being detected. My icy counter, okay. Uh, Dragonite, Ardent Flame. This is good stuff. Dragonite standard, fixed an issue with its visual effect with its ability and its morris could end early in some cases. Uh, shifting standard, fixed an issue with its ability last longer than intended in some cases. Yeah, I've had this happen. When you drop standards within a standard without even running uh, Elf Bane. It's kind of weird. Inhale. This explosion does 25% more damage on the initial hit. No longer ranks up. Okay. So it's a buff. Draw essence. That is more if not heals you for. Okay. Up from. Ranks up by 1%. The final explosion is no longer increased by. It's still a buff though. I like this ability. Especially when you're getting Zerg down. Necromancer. Fix an issue. We're casting a tether ability. It could sometimes cause your character to turn around and face the opposite direction you're facing. Never had that happen. That 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 seems annoying. Uh, shocking siphon, detonating siphon. Uh, this ability's final explosion now occurs when the tether ends, for any reason, rather than okay, it's, that's good. Bone tyrant. This ability has received significant improvements in functionality and now does the following. The first area snares by thirty percent, fifty percent. The second area now immobilizes them. The final stuns. Each area continues to apply minor maim. Okay. Cool. Uh, this morph now increases the duration of all negative effects applied from this ability rather than adding them. Ugh, excuse me. And mobilizing them to each field. As that is now the baseline experience. Okay. Empowering grass. This morph empowers. Now lasts for the full five second duration rather than being consumed on use. Okay. Night blades. Please nerf. Please loss. I'm not going to read. Please nerf. I want to see nerfs. Anything. Grim focus. This villain is more s now grant 2% critical damage and healing per stack rather than reducing your damage taken in order to help this ability feel more aggressive and sa Okay, good. I I'll actually take the damage over them being stupidly tanky. I'll take this. Stacks removed from this ability after any combat will now be removed in PvP zones rather than all the time. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I like this. <laughs> Master Assassin. The passive weapon and spell damage is now granted to your damaging attacks against enemies you are flanking. Rather than granting universal amount. Okay, good. So I'm fucking looking at your ass. The weapon spell damage is now flat rather than granting. It's a nerf. Good. Fucking needed it. Shadow Cloak. The fixed initiative where this ability was granting immunity to projectiles from targets that detection. Potions on. I had this happen many times. Thank you, Zoss. Updated many cases where this ability in VZB was removed or it shouldn't have been, such as against ballistas. I still think it should pull you out, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Summon Shade. This ability and the Dark Shade Morph can now be cast without a target, as Shadow Image can. I always thought it could. Anyway, Shadow Image. Shade from this ability no longer has player collision active to prevent issues where it would become stuck. Uh, stepping Stool. <laughs> Please be more considerate of your shades, feelings, as these extensions of you. <laughs> okay. Siphoning, Soul Shred. 
fix an issue where morphs of his ultimate would fail to stack from multiple casters in some cases. I don't know how that works. Soul Siphon. I fixed an issue with this, where the heal beam on allies was breaking sooner than intended. It will now snap at 30 meters. Okay. Strife. Increase the damage done for this ability and the funnel health morph by a, a lot to ensure they properly adhere to heal over time standards. Okay. Fix an issue where both of these abilities would attempt to apply a heal over time even if the target dodged the attack. Okay, so overall buff. Alright. Uh, thank God for this. Oh, well, thank Zoss for this. And then this overall is a nerf, I'm pretty sure. So, we can get more damage here, less damage here, less tank ability. Oh no, it's actually less, yeah, it's less damage here as well. I don't know, so, could be, these kind of cancel each other out, but you're just less tanky. Good. No offense to you guys, but come on now. Why do you think, like, 55% of the population of Cyrodiil is Nightblade? <laughs> Sorcerer, please, Zoss, uh, I'm a Sork main, please nerf this. I want to play Sork again and not be shit on and look down upon, please. Uh, Crystal Shard, reduce the cast time of ability. Who's going to cast it? Reduce the damage done from this ability by... Okay, reduce the cost. These abilities have a new affix. Where after successfully casting, your next non ultimate ability used within 3 seconds costs 10% less. Alright, Crystal Frags, this is what we care about. This ability can now proc off itself? <laughs> oh shit. Slightly reduce the damage done from the special proc by less than one. <laughs> you could frag frag. How dope is that? Okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. Now, I would considering backbarring frag as well in this case. Who knows? Introduce a safety window after activating the special proc to help avoid immediate queuing the... Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, that's good. I'm glad they thought of this. I'm sure they had a bug testing this shit. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, this ability has been reworked. You gotta be... I'm gonna go back to this. You gotta be really careful. Someone frags you. You think it's over. No, no. There's a follow-up one. Crystal Blast this has been reworked into a stamina morph and renamed a Crystal Weapon. It is now an instant cast ability that causes your next light or heavy attack made within 4 seconds to deal additional damage equal to the, to the standard spammable amount such as enemies hit by this ability will their enemies hit by this ability will have I forgot have here will have their armor reduced by up to 1000 I mean maybe we'll just have to see how it plays out in case this ability is more now restore sixty percent of the ability cost and no targets are mobilized, that's pretty cool. Daedric summoning. All pets from the skill line I now use all pets from the skill line now use a hybrid of your spell damage and max magic rather than purely max magic. Good dude, good. So I can stop running fucking fifty K max magic on my sorcerer and duels and shit. That's nice. Shames would I don't run pets, so whatever. Uh, this chain was done to reduce total power of these stacking uh, singular stat. Okay, nerf. Thank you. Fuck pet sorks. Rebate. Uh, this passive now restores blah 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 stamina determined by what the ability costs when one of your dates summoning. Okay. Some of you may fix an issue with this ability and it's more special area effect at a higher chance of flanking custom ten. Okay. I uh, fixed an issue with this ability applied in second stun last day. Okay. This ability especially is now halved and healing itself. Good. Fix an issue where the top and this pet. Okay. Uh, they, they didn't do anything about it, guys. They didn't do anything about it, guys. I'm upset. Kaz, actual ball lightning could count towards successful kills in some cases. Uh, maybe they'll increase the cost one day. Maybe. Alright, Templar. Uh, IDX Spear. Okay, so there's not too many more after this. 
Burning Light, the passive, been slightly reworked so that the damage now triggers when you deal damage four times with rapid succession to the enemy light XP rather than having 25% chance to proc per hit. Uh, that's good, because you gotta stay on the asses. Note that the time window is long enough that the abilities they hit at least once every second in between. Okay. Uh, just take some RNG out of it. Punching Strike reduces the tick frequency of this ability and it's more to uh, a third of a second down from not really a third of a second. To better sync it when it's damage animation, okay. Punching sweeps fix an issue where the heal from this ability was based on the damage of the initial hit rather than the amount of damage done to each individual target, resulting in a significant reduction to healing when hitting multiple targets. With this fix, we'll be keeping a close eye on the Templar's ability to stay in the thick of the fight. Okay. So let me read that again. Resulting in a significant We'll just see how this works. We'll test it. Radio Sweep, this ability and its morphs now have a minor cast item to help better sync with their damage. Eh, that kind of sucks. Dawn's Wrath, Backlash. Uh, fix an issue with this ability and its morphs stored much more damage done to the target than the tooltip stated. This will make the ability require more damage, particularly in PvP, in order to. Thank God, dude. I felt like I got hit super hard for no reason. Like, I. They wouldn't even cast many abilities on me, dude. I, anyway, well, I'll go into that like maybe in a different video. But uh, fixed an issue with these abilities uh, did not reset their stored damage values and detonings. Okay, that makes sense. Restoring light cleansing ritual. Uh, this warp now sacrifices its healing potential for the damage rather than adding damage on top of the healing. This damage is increased by 5% each tick for the duration of the ability up to 35%. Uh pretty good. I really can't really say anything too about it. Reduce the cost of building its morphs to from nah, decrease the healing of these abilities. Okay, I, so they, they had to change it somehow. This will set a new AoE heal spamable standard where the healing and cost are 50% more than the AoE spam counterpart which will monitor in here. Okay. Buffing a nerf. Mostly a nerf because oof. This passive, excuse me, this passive has been updated. So healing and ally under 50% restoring light abilities. Blah, blah, ultimate, ultimate. Blah. This passive no longer extends the duration of restoring aura. Okay, whatever. Warden swarm. Uh, fix an issue with this ability couldn't be cast while silenced. If you're silenced, why should you be able to cast it? Is there still silence in the game? I don't know. Uh, healing seed. The synergy from this ability and its morphs no longer count as a green balance skill. As synergies are not meant to be enhanced by their respective skill lines. Uh oh, is this a necro nerf? Maybe? Uh, they are activated by allies and the. Okay, so this might be a necro nerf upcoming. Budding seeds. Fix an issue where the animated and recasting of this ability could force its animations after a delay rather than skipping its animations. Fix an issue where the heal from this ability could happen twice in some very specific situations. Alright, Structure Staff. Fix an issue where heavy attacks alone would quickly stutter after immediately starting. Okay. How about when I channel up a heavy attack and it flies off my screen while I'm looking at someone? <laughs> Fix an issue where the splash damage from uh, lightning saves heavy attacks was double hit by. Oh, okay. By Battle Spirit. Fix an issue where this attack could also proc the concussed stats effect despite light and heavy attacks being unable to inflict stas effects. Really? I didn't know this. Light and heavy attacks cannot inflict stas effects. I didn't know this. Huh. That's interesting. The more you know. Played this game for six years. I did not know that. Wow. I, I think that is true. Yeah. I, I was trying to proc burning on a my DK with a lot of attacks and it just never had Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, a fixed issue where light attacks from this weapon that did not break stealth. Okay. Restoration, fixed an issue where heavy attacks from this ability would quickly stutter after immediately starting the channel. Yeah, I've had this happen a lot, a lot of times. Two handed critical charge, stampede this morph now causes the initial hit to the area of effect damage on impact. Cool reverse slice, fixed an issue where the splash damage is ability would hit by battle spirit. Okay. Alright, let's check out heavy armor and stop unmovable. 
This morph uh, rings up duration of the major resolve granted rather than duration of CC immunity. Granted, it fixed numerous issues where the CC immunity from this ability operated differently than other sorts. Still kind of a dog shit skill, in my opinion. Alright, vampire. Fixed an issue where two vampires can feed on the same. Okay. Okay, guys. Blood Scion. Fix an issue where the ability did not display hostile telegraph. Fix an issue where uh, could fail to break the cancer cell. Okay, Viscerate. Decrease the execute multiplier of this ability. Decrease the execute multiplier to 60% from 100. This ability now ranks at 5% increasing. Okay, Protect. Alright. After casting the ability, you cannot be healed by allies for 5 seconds. Oof. Misform. Fix an issue where speed ribbons would appear while channeling this ability. Speed ribbons. Which applied to an invisible husk of your old form when you twisted. I mean. Okay. Werewolf. Call the pack. Fix an issue where the passive was not counting your direwolves in some cases. Balance added additional fail safes to this morph and enemies to help reduce situations where you could become locked out. I've seen this happen. Uh, brutal Pounce fixed an issue where this ability's damage is split into two attacks rather than a singular attack area. Okay. Ferocious Roar fixed an issue where the attack speed from this ability was applied to things other than heavy attacks. Okay. So Vigor. Uh, you'll get this quicker. Consumables. Uh, okay. Armor Traits. So we're going to go over Armor Traits and then we're going to cut the video. And then, in you know, a later video on today, I, I I got a few jobs I got to attend to for buddy, and then I'll go into the, uh, the set changes. Armor traits divides increase the bonus. Very good. Impenetrable reduce critical resistance. Yep, probably won't be running much uh, much impen anymore, fellas. Uh, infuse increase the enchantment potency. Okay. Now a little spoiler alert: Torog's packed instead of. 30% it goes up to 90% 90 and then it's going to stack on top of this we'll, we'll go over that in a second Torogs is probably going to be best in slot for pretty much every fucking class Invigorate increase recovery granted this needs to be just higher <laughs> learn how to decrease the armor granted to why why would you decrease it this was a dog shit trait anyway Increase it to like 450. What are y'all doing? Like, when I can run reinforce on a curious or legs and get more of a benefit than Nernhone, Nernhone is supposed to be like the expensive one. Why y'all nerfing this? I don't understand. Anyway, well fit increase the. Okay, good. I love running well fitted builds. This is good. Weapon traits decisive. Increase the chances. Tra oh my god. It got even better? Oh boys. DK. Oh boys. Just imagine. Modern heroism pots. Decisive. With that one set that gives you 44 ultimate when you chug a potion. Oh my god, dude. So if you guys hate DK, well, it's coming. Defending and sharpening. Okay, please let this be good. Increase the amount of armor and penetration to... Okay, that, that's about, what, 1.5-2% more? Okay. Precise, increase the critical... Uh, okay. Why 8.6? What... I guess, I guess. It's some weird numbers. Jewelry traits. Arcane robust. Increase the maximum resource. Seven. Why do they even waste the time? Bloodthirsty. Uh, maybe it's rounding or something. I don't know. Bloodthirsty. This trait now grants up to targets under 90% health. Scaling linearly. One per oh, up to 250. It doesn't give you, okay. 1% to... So at 10%, it's only going to give you 25. At 1%, they give you 250. That's that's dumb. Ha ha ha, yes. Yes. I'm tired of getting bombed. 
by the necro build. So th they had the passive uh, nerf up here, where your your passive shouldn't apply to synergies. Fuck, I lost it. And then this is another nerf. More it needs to be more. <laughs> health increase maximum health. Come on, who cares? Swift increase. Okay, that, that's actually okay. Increase whatever. Mundus. Astronaut and Serpent increase recovery. Good change. Mage. And the tower decrease the maximum resource. <laughs> By five. Oh my. Decrease. <laughs> decrease the maximum health grant. Who cares? Five. The Lady and Lover decrease armor and penetration. This is irrelevant. The Thief. Irrelevant ritual. Decrease the healing done granted by down from. I mean, it says a little bit of an impact. Shadow. I mean, that, that, that can have some, some impact as well. Now, the item sets we'll be going over in a different video. This one's been going on quite some time, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'll upload that later on in the day after I get done with my adulting. So, it's been Horcrux with the, uh, the patch analysis. Uh, stay tuned for the second video. Deuces, fellas.